through three decades of coaching. Today, Sports Director Chris Parks joins us in the studio with a look at part two of the Hall of Famers series. Chris. Hey, good afternoon, Trish. Teal Nation will officially begin practice on Friday in Coach Gilmore's final season. Today, in our second part of our three-part series, we'll discuss that magical run to Omaha in 2016 and his battle with cancer in 2020. I remember interviewing for this job, and I remember the looks on people's faces when I told them, I said, we can go to Omaha. An idea and vision that was far-fetched in the eyes of many, but as the years went on, Gilmore and Teal Nation believed, and then in 2016. He got it, and it's all over. Coastal Carolina rules the roost. They win the championship. Just how special was 2016, those months leading up to everything that happened, winning at LSU and then going out to Omaha and just making it an incredible run, just uh, reflect on how special that was. There was a genuine... Um, Brotherhood, uh, I mean a lifetime brotherhood with that group of kids, especially among themselves and, and with their relationship with our staff. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't know they ever had a team completely buy into the staff and the philosophies and to buy into each other. From the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, just a couple years removed from the World Series, Gilmore got devastating news in 2020. And of course, a couple years ago, your battle and still battling through pancreatic cancer and the journeys you've had back and forth between Houston and Conway and still coaching, taking a little bit of time off. How fulfilling is that for you to know that so many people rally around you, love you and want the best for you too? You know, I, I mean, every time I've had to go to Houston to have different things done. I mean, this past fall I had, I had, sur I had, had major surgery and I mean, it was amazing. I, you know, I got hundreds and hundreds of texts from different players and coaches and people. I mean, it's, you know, I, I can't really put into words what that means. Gilmore didn't lose faith when he was diagnosed. Instead, embraced the challenge of beating cancer. Okay, God, if this is, this is your challenge, I'm going to meet it head on with a great attitude. No, it's not going to be one second of woe is me and this stinks and why did I get it and this and that. Every, every day I, I get to wake up and, and some manner or other touch a life in, in some way, in a positive way, and, and share my faith and, and enthusiasm for life that, you know, that, that it's a good thing, that that's what this is about. Yeah, an incredible individual in person. We'll have one more story later this week on the future of CCU baseball and what that looks like in Coach Gilmore's eyes. If you missed any parts of this story or Friday's story, you can check them out at WBTW.com. Reporting in the studio, I'm Chris Parks for News 13 Sports. All right, thank you, Chris. And